bats are amazing creatures and so is their sense of smell. As a matter of fact, uh, meteorologist Scott Sumner is here to talk about one animal that might have the ability to sniff out an approaching earthquake. Hey, Scott. Hello there, Mark, and hello to you. Yes, predicting an earthquake is nearly impossible, despite scientists' efforts and scientific accomplishments over time. From Greek scientist Thales, who first discovered electricity in 500 B.C., to I say it, I, I, Isaac Newton, who formulated the workings of the universe, to Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, two who traveled into space and stepped on the moon. Well, i uh, tell you what, elusively trying to predict an earthquake is still an issue for scientists alike. There may be some hope, however, in getting early signals of when a quake may erupt, and it comes from a toad. Well, yeah, you don't say. In Italy, in 2009, toads, under research, began leaving a breeding region in the middle of the breeding season, which was completely strange. Scientists tracked them down and found that they all moved 45 miles away from a quake's epicenter that occurred five days later. Yeah. Even more incredible was the fact that the same amphibians returned to the breeding site a day after the earthquake. So the obvious question of how do they know is probably at the forefront of your mind. But in past studies, it has been found that toads smell earthquakes before they can happen. Chemical reactions that go unnoticed by humans could give animals a sixth sense that warms them of disasters before they happen. Minute changes in chemistry happen when stresses within the rock bed of the crust to the upper mantle in the earth releases ions into the air and into the water. Such changes can cause alterations in the blood chemistry of these creatures and it's these changes that provide the toads to leave and seek refuge. There is little doubt that a normal animal behavior does occur before major earthquakes but how this information may be used for forecasting earthquakes is still a topic of future study. From the DC News Now studio, I'm meteorologist Scott Sumner.